What? <laughs> no! Let me out of here, man! I can't get out! Oh no, my NPCs! Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Mega Mod Pack! So, I start today's episode off with a really awesome announcement. You may have already seen it if you frequent the comment section. So, in yesterday's episode, I mentioned that the cactuses need a hard mode upgrade so that we can take the cactuses all the way through the game because they are the, the life of the series. They're the blood and soul. As you can see, look! One's dancing right now with my important announcement. So, we did actually get a comment from the creator of Juiced, and he has put out a hotfix that will carry the cactuses into hard mode. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to install the wing accessory mod. I personally don't like it because I don't need another accessory slot because that unbalances the game. But if we're going to keep cactuses on us, well, if we put our wing in the wing slot, that will free up an accessory slot for our buddies. So yeah, they're coming all the way through the game with us. So hopefully we won't have to remove them anymore. You know, they've, they've had enough suffering. So... In today's episode, we're going to be taking on Queen Bee. It's a vanilla boss, of course, but it's one that we need to do now because as I show you guys the progression, we have worked our way through quite a lot of these. So just to count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 bosses. That's how far we've come. So, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I actually forgot about this. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'll, I'll just I'll put on my hand now and tell you. I actually forgot about Hive Mind. <laughs> so in today's episode, we're gonna be facing Hive Mind and then the Queen Bee. Oh man, I'm a moron. Um, but I thought for the Queen Bee we could use Jester arrows anyway. And the cool thing about beating Queen Bee is that we do get an item from the Juice mod for doing it. But then we also get another quest, so that's another boss. And that's what I was gonna do today. But maybe uh. Well, we'll see. I wanted to check out a new type of bullet. It's called, I believe it's called pink. Oh, I don't know what it's called, actually. It's made out of pink gel. Uh, if I look up, oh, I don't know what to look up. If I look up bullet, maybe this will show me. Or if I look up the word shot, is it the word shot? Is a thing called a pink shot. Oh, I know where I saw it. So if I open this up and go to weapons, if I go down here, it's called the ricochet shot. So, it's made out of pink gel, and it's a uh, it's a bullet. It does one damage. Hmm, I don't know how good that'll be. Uh, well, I'm going to make a few of them. Well, a thousand is quite a lot. Let's see. Is it any good? <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. That looks so kooky, though. Alright, so it's like the meteor shot, but it bounces quite a bit faster. So, I don't have potions. I'm going to get some potions. I did I did originally record this intro, and then what happened was it crashed. So, I'm, I'm re-recording this intro, because what I did in my original intro was I did all this, and then I didn't actually make the bullets, and then I got my potions. Blah, blah, blah. It, the game crashed. Mod loader crashes all the time. It don't matter. I hope you guys are well. Uh, I didn't have an episode yesterday, and I'll tell you why. There's good reason for it. I actually got a hold of a mod, a mod from 2012, that I've been dying to get my hands on for the longest time because it's the original mod pack for Terraria. It's the one that was most famous for being the first ever proper mod pack. It had multiple bosses. It had a lot to it. I mean, I played a lot of mods in 2012 and not a lot of them were amazing, but one of them really stood out and it was actually taken off the forum quite early on for a, uh, a bit of a controversy essentially. But I managed to get a hand of it, a hold of it, and I spent all of yesterday playing it and getting uh, geared up for a video I want to do on Chippy Gaming. Because obviously, you know, on Chippy Gaming, I like talking about, like, Terraria's history and stuff. Tra Chippy's Couch, I like my Let's Plays. I like chatting with you guys, uh, Chippy Gaming. I like doing, like, I don't know, like, more, like, trivia kind of things. And, I don't know, it's where I can, like, be passionate without playing the game and just, you know, just being passionate. Okay. Right, so, yeah, that's that's why I didn't make a video, because I played that for so many hours, and I was kind of burnt out with Terraria, because, you know, when you play something for hours, but it's going to make for something good. So we are here. Now, the Hive Mind is a little bit different than some of the other bosses. You actually have to have it spawn. So I've got to wait for a cyst to spawn. So what I might do is grab myself... Okay, these bullets are not amazing. These ones, though, are a little bit better. Yeah, I might go grab myself a Battle Potion and wait around a little bit. 
And then I'll wait like 10 minutes. You know, if we don't find it in 10 minutes, we'll go do the Queen Bee. Because this one's not too important. I do want to do it, obviously. But, um, yeah, if we can't find it. And I'll also disable Steam. <laughs> so, yeah, see you guys when we find it. Or if we're doing Queen Bee. Okay, I found one. That actually wasn't too long. I'm going to say like... So like two minutes, maybe? I don't know. It'd be better if I had a clock, because then you guys could just tell me. Because <laughs> you'd be able to check the time difference. But yeah, it wasn't too long, thankfully. I'm going to buff up, get all regen as I do this. And since we're not going to be using these bullets, I may as well use these. So, for the first part of this fight, it doesn't actually move. It just stays in a stationary position. And then, after the first part of the fight, everything gets a little bit more different. It starts like teleporting around and such. Or at least that's how it was when I last played it in death mode. But I think, I think we are ready for it. So, hopefully. So, and I need to back off now to here. Okay, so we're doing all right for damage. All right, it has minions and stuff. We've got we to be careful. Oh, no. Okay, I was going to say, we've got to be super careful. I don't get killed by the minions and stuff because... Problem is, at the minute, I don't have a, uh, a cobalt shield or anything like that. So, knockback is like a real killer at this part of the game. For me, at least. Because if you get caught in a knockback loot, well, it could be uh, it could be real trouble. Alright, look. I'm already kind of caught in a knockback loot, really. I should have kind of, like, stayed where I was. Problem is, it's got so many little things. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay. I'm just kind of trying to tank a little bit of it. See, I'm not doing so much damage now. I was doing more damage, uh... Oh, there you go. It's kind of sectioned into the next part of the fight. I'm beginning to wonder what what's actually doing all the damage, because for a minute ago, like, a little while ago, I wasn't doing too much. Alright, so now on to the next part of the fight. So this is the part where it starts to teleport around a little bit. This is cool! I like hide mine. <laughs> I feel like uh, everybody here, everybody watching this, is probably a Calamity fan. So, uh, so seeing the hide mine, it's no big deal, but it's good. It's a good time, always. I do really, really love Calamity, honestly. It's, uh, it is my favorite by far. And then for him. Okay. Right. Ugh. Right. Juiced is adding up there, though. It might... So, people are different when it comes to Terraria mods. I like mods that are a little... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Need to take this a little bit more seriously now. Yeah, people are, are really different when it comes to mods. I'm one of the people that are like... I like a mod to be a little bit goofy, if I'm honest. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe we lost that. Yeah. I like goofy mods, and Juiced is a bit goofy, so I kind of like it. I mean, the cactuses are a little bit goofy. The bosses are a little bit goofy. Whoa! <laughs> no! Let me out of here, man. I can't get out. Oh, no. My NPCs. The ones that were going to sell me potions. For real? All right. It's close to the corruption, so we're going to test if bringing him back is what causes him to take more damage. Okay, I'm really, really hoping it is. Oh, it is. Okay, awesome. Great. So, thank you, Calamity, for the second chance. I appreciate it. This is nice of you. <laughs> I've never known Calamity to be so nice. But I'll, I, I'll appreciate it, and I'll take that. Ah, okay. I don't know why I'm freaking out so much at this boss fight. It's literally an easy one, but it's getting the best of me. Okay, right, so we're coming, oh, coming up to the end. Okay, thank God I got the mini-map open there. All right, hive mind, it's time for you to get gone. Oh, look at these rain clouds above me, look at that. Okay. All right, it's getting close. I'm kind of like just slowly taking it down. I'm taking my time with it. Nothing's rushed. Okay, so this should be it. Hey, there we go. Well done, Calamity. Kind of whooped me there, I'm not going to lie. I feel like the uh, the success and the improvement made to my myself and death mode is definitely lost here because it's got a different vibe to it, this series. Anyway, I'm really happy that we got that done because it's one that I did want to tick off the list eventually, even though I did forget about it. Uh, so let's put all this stuff away. Open this up. So we got the Shark Grain Staff. Love it. We got the sword. The flamethrower. Uh, we also got the summoner staff. So we'll keep that on us. So we'll get rid of these three. We also got some demonite. Got the mask. Ooh, very nice. And we also got the rotten brain, which we will use eventually. Uh, just got to be very careful with calamity accessories at the minute. Because the majority of calamity stuff 
uh, basically just unbalances the rest of it. Not through like Calamity's fault or anything like that. It's just that, well, it's just the way mods work together, essentially. That's that's all it is, really. Right, so it's Queen B time. Now, I don't think, yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I have any wood. So I'm going to grab some wood. Now, if any of you guys are older than 18, I don't know what the legal age for this is. But if any of you are older than 18, go see Deadpool 2. I went to go see it, but I absolutely loved it. It was way better than the first one. So if you do get a chance to go see it, and you're of age, because uh, it is obviously a very adult film, you should go and see it. It's good. Real, real good. I saw it today, and I absolutely loved it. But, you know, I, I like superhero movies. I was never really big on superhero movies growing up. Like, I loved Spider-Man as a kid. Like, absolutely adored Spider-Man films as a kid. Like, they were the best. And then when Marvel kind of came out with all their films, I didn't really get into them for a very long time. Uh, but then, I don't know, after a few friends told me about them, I, I kind of like them now. And uh, so, yeah, so I really like the... I've, I've been enjoying superhero films recently because I'm not as burnt out of them as a lot of people are. But yeah, if you, if you get the chance, go and see it. Go support a good film. Right, okay. Okay, kill that strange bulb. Right, now the trick is, and this is always the trick, guys, getting into here without... Breaking the bulb. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in this way just so I don't, uh, just so I don't affect the water levels going in. And hopefully, we can build some sort of arena because I accidentally triggered one before. I didn't get to do it. Oh, it's aerolite. Ah, huh. I was gonna start mining around it. I'm kind of glad I didn't now. Dum da dum da dum. I'm quite excited to see what we get from the, uh, from the the, the quest giver. For this boss. I hope I hope it's something ridiculous, honestly. Okay. Let's go into the hut. Awesome. Okay, let's turn off all summons. Cactuses, please don't do anything dumb. Right, I've taken them off for two minutes. I can't I can't trust them, honestly. I, I just can't. Okay, let's uh, all right, build this out. We're just mining blocks right now, and then we'll mine it out. Uh, okay, all right. Okay, cool. That's all of the uh, all of the bees gone. God, I'm so thankful to be playing uh, 1.3.5 today because after playing so much uh, classic Terraria yesterday, it, oh, it it makes you so thankful to be playing a decent version of Terraria again. It really, really does. Like, I'm not even joking when I say that. Like, there are some real quality of life improvements. Like, for example, like platforms. You get two for one block. That's why people make platforms. Back in the day, everyone used to build out of wood, and everyone looks back and they're like, "Why are you built that out of wood?" It's because there was no other, there was no benefit of not doing that. So I'm thankful for it today. Let's begin. Okay, notoriously guys, I'm not very good at this fight. But I bought the Jester Arrows because I remember that it shoots uh, little bees at you. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at this, we're gonna smash this fight. Look, it's giving me all those little elements that you get. That's kind of cool. Hey, look at this fight. Absolutely bossing it. Oh, we need to get the cactuses back on. They're, they're a crucial part of the fight, guys. Okay. Right. Ooh, I like the little feather that's getting stuck in them. That's part of my armor set, right? Oh, God, I'm taking a lot of damage. <laughs> Still not very good at this fight. But that's okay. All right, stand there. And, oh, my God. Okay. Notoriously bad, remember. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's it. Summon the bees. Summon the bees and I will kill you, Queen Bee. Ooh, an assassin's knife. Oh, no, don't die. No! Like, oh my god! God, I'm so bad at this fight! What? I'm losing everything today. What's that about? What is that about? I'm gonna need to find another bee biome. Have I got another one anywhere close? Oh, no! Oh, that is disappointing. I left that life crystal there all this time. I pointed it out as well. Oh, that is actually good. Oh, no. If only I had a few more uh, potions or whatever. Oh, no, I'm so good. Because now I've got to go find one. Rah, this is this is the, uh, it's the worst thing. It's the worst thing. Me and Python talk about this all the time. But when you're a, a YouTuber who plays Terraria, the worst thing is, like, losing a fight like that. And then having to, um... 
to grind it out again. Right, let's go on to potions. Let's see, can I make danger sense? The danger sense will show it off to me, won't it? All right, let's craft one of them. Uh, let's see, what else? There's so many, look, look at all these potions I can craft. If I was to use one in my next fight, what would it be? I'd obviously use an archery potion, so I, I'm gonna make one of those. I could do with it a regen, so I'll make one of those. What is that? Toxin. Critical strikes may poison foes. Yeah, go on then. I'll grab one of them as well. Uh, swiftness. Don't really need it. Definitely iron skin. Oh my god. And what else? Uh, let's see. I don't want anything too overpowered. Hmm. Steel feet. What's this? Increases height at which you can take damage from falling. Oh, that's clever. So it's kind of like giving you a, uh, a lucky horseshoe, but only to an extent. It's like, hey, you can have a lucky horseshoe, but it's not going to be anything crazy. Right, okay. Well, I'm going uh, to go find one. Hopefully it won't take me too long. And then I'll, I'll build a little arena and we'll do it again. But yeah, definitely not my day for bosses. <laughs> I'm clearly so used to uh, classic Terraria. All right, so we have a queen beehive, and I had to go back and get some jester arrows, so we should be ready to go. I kind of like this little dynamic here on the minimap. It looks good, like a little bit of water, a little bit of lava, a bit of obsidian in the middle. All right, here's my little arena. Uh, so I'm gonna buff up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready to begin because these guys are gonna, these guys are gonna annoy me. Uh, kill off these little dudes. Okay. All right, once I've regened up, we are going to be all ready. I drained all of the uh, the honey out, so I don't have to deal with that. And then we should be good to go. I don't know if this is like... I don't know. I hope this is not just the same fight as before and I just mess it up like an idiot. All right. Okay. I did hope that would work. I think what messed me up last time is because obviously it charges a lot more in the later part of the fight. And I think... What really messed me up was the fact that my jump height was so large that, I don't know, it kind of just threw everything off. So I couldn't avoid the hits because I was jumping too large and then I was hitting the top of the biome. So it just wasn't working very well. Okay. Okay, it's working well this time. Look at that. Okay. All right, someone's obviously doing well. Oh, I think this is literally just over, dudes. I think this is over. Hey, here we go. Nice. Okay, so we'll bail on that. So we got the the royal antenna. So this is for the juice mod. Oh my god, a lot of stuff popped at the popped up at the bottom there. Uh, we got another shadow diamond, some more stuff. Okay, cool. Right, so let's uh, hold on to that. Hold on to that. And deposit the rest. Okay, let's open this up. So. Okay, standard vanilla stuff. You got a beekeeper, pretty nice. Got a nectar pet, a, a hive pack. All right, cool. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so let's give in the royal antenna. Let's see. Where's our Where's our man? Oh wait, is he not around anymore? Where do I keep him? Is he dead? Find out. <laughs> Next week's episode, because I have no idea. Uh, where do we hand them in? What was his name? <laughs> I actually don't have a clue. What was his name? Was it like Bill or Ted or... It's one of them. Huh. We have a librarian now? So, let's see. Have I actually got a spot for this dude? No. I, I think he's dead. I think, I think, I think he's a goner. Yeah, because he was bold, right? I know, it's, I know it's been a few days, but... Okay. Well, I guess we unfortunately wait, and I'm going to maybe kill off some NPCs and stuff while we wait, and then hopefully tomorrow, when it turns daytime, we will have, a, yeah, we'll have an NPC to talk to. All right, so I've waited around now for like two and a half days. I'm getting a little bit bored of waiting, so I am going to end it there, guys, and what we'll do is we'll pick up tomorrow, and hopefully the NPC is uh, moved in by then. I'll just leave my computer running. But yeah, for now, guys, I'm going to end it there. All right, so I'm going to end it there, guys. I waited two and a half days for my NPC to move in. He hasn't yet. So I'll just, you know, tomorrow we'll jump straight into that. And then we at least have a boss to do straight away. But yeah, I didn't want to wait around too much longer. I actually put a few more houses up in the sky as well. And, uh, and that didn't work, unfortunately. But we'll see. 
Right, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to click the like button. We're kind of dropping in likes. Try and raise that back up again, guys. I know you can do it. And if you're new around here, be sure to click that subscribe button. By clicking subscribe, you're guaranteed to have a Terraria video in your inbox pretty much daily. And I think that's awesome. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.